Are you looking for sealed product and singles? You can find it all on Channel Fireball. Please use my Tailmon affiliate code when checking out to help support my content. Looking for PTGO codes? Photon Store has all the latest sets and promos instantly delivered to your email. You can use Tailmon code when checking out for 5% off. If you're from Europe, Millipods Gaming has a wide array of sealed products, singles and more. You can use Tailmon code when checking out for 5% off. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. We're going to be playing the new, well, not the new I guess, we're going to be playing Intellion VMAX, right, which has the Hydra Snipe attack doing 60 and you return an energy attached from your opponent's active Pokemon to their hand and Max Bullet doing 160 and 60 to the bench because it goes really well with a brand new telescopic sight really cool um, tool card that allows you to increase the damage you deal to the bench by 30 more. Yeah, we've seen this being utilized with our Manitan VMAX, but um, until the VMAX has a more straightforward and targeted um, attack and um, a cheaper attack cost as well. So we're gonna be using that along with Frostmoth because its ability Ice Dance allows us to power up until the VMAX immediately, which is the idea behind this deck, getting that turn to 160, snipe 90, and coincidentally that the Denes and Crobats that we run, but also that pretty much everyone is running right now, will now get two hit KO'd by Intillion VMAX, right? To 90 damage snipes versus um, getting three hit KO'd beforehand. Now we also have the Keldeo GX. Resolute Blade is a really powerful attack doing 50 times 50 for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon and Pure Heart Getting protection from GX is not a bad call against Pikaram, but probably not enough to beat them since they do run um, V attackers like Vikavolt and Coco and Bolton especially. So we have four research for Marnie and three boss in the supporter side of things. We have a bunch of Pokemon searching, Great Bolts, Quick Bolts, and Pokecoms. We have 10 basic energy along with our stadium, and we have some switching cards and we have our buckets to search for energy. So it's all about getting that quick Intellion, I did not make any changes, but thank you for asking. And let's jump into the ladder, see if we can get some Ws, right? Um, keep climbing up to, keep climbing the ladder. I, I'm not sure, I doubt I'll be able to finish it within the next 10 days, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll definitely see. All righty. All right. So we lose a coin flip, never a good thing when you're playing an evolutions deck, right? And starting Crobat, that's also never good, <laughs> but it is what it is. I mean, we can establish an Intellion to attach this to, and then we're up against Orbeetle, so it'll be an interesting matchup, even weaknesses, so that's nice. Um, the sniping could potentially be good here for us, and we just see an attach and a pass. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and play a training court because why not? And then I'll go ahead and Pokecom this away. I wanna establish an Intillion since I already have the um, the telescopic sight. Otherwise I would probably choose the Snom instead. And then I get a free card, I guess, which is nice. I'll go ahead and get the Crobat. And then I'll do this. I'll go ahead and switch. And I have guaranteed attachment, right? Thanks to Stadium, so that's very nice. I'll use it after. And I do get the Snom, which is nice. Um, I definitely want to attach. And then, honestly, I'm just gonna Marnie. I don't know what's in my opponent's hand, but they didn't get the player supporter, so that's not an indication of weakness. I just know six random cards versus four random cards. That's potentially good enough for me. And not bad, right? Generally, not bad. I'm gonna go ahead and training court the energy back, just in case, and we'll go ahead and do snipe shot for 40. So, if my opponent had something on the bench, I actually would have been able to snipe shot for 70, so 30 extra damage overall, right? That would have been really nice, but that's okay. Yeah, generally, that's okay. All right, my opponent goes for the 10A, so that's really awesome, right? For our strategy. 70 plus 90 coincidentally is also um, enough 
right, to KO the Dene, so I might actually, I did price on Intillion, which is not very nice, but I might actually choose to snipe shot on the Dene this turn. Depends on if this Great Ball can find me the other Intillion VMAX, because returning the energy, it's not super impactful. 100 plus 150 doesn't KO though, so that would be good. See the research. This is also a, sn a snipeable target, right? So that means I can go three prizes, two prizes, one prize, right? Within three turns, which is not bad at all. Not bad at all. And then I can also make him commit the energy there. Okay, that's actually really nice. That's actually really, really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna do this first. And I don't find anything particularly useful. I guess I'll grab the Keldeo. All right, so I definitely want to establish the Intillion, right? I mean, I'm not guaranteed the Intillion be maxed anyways. So I'll go ahead and attach, well, actually no. Well, let's do things the, the proper way, okay? So I'm gonna Ice Dance two to the bench, right? Two to the bench, attach this, and then I'll go Dead I Change. I'm not super concerned about the 10 damage spread. I do find this, so I think I should use it. I think I should use it. Yeah, I think it's fine. I think the damage will just be overwhelming to my opponent, hopefully, right? We play the stadium and then we'll go ahead and Marnie. Take away my opponent's big hand again. I also find energy, which is nice. I haven't attached for a turn, right? So if I attach, my opponent's doing 150, which is not the biggest of deals. Not the biggest of deals at all. Um, I will go ahead and attach this, but I'll save this one for later. And then we'll go ahead and Hydra Snipe. So we return the energy. Let's return the basic, I guess. I don't do any special conditions, so that doesn't really matter. And then next turn, I can Snipe. Okay, he commits another special. He uses the ability immediately. Go for a switch, bench is another dude, and then goes research, all right. So the attachment, like killing, the, forcing the attachment here could actually, if my opponent doesn't find a switching card um, or a way to retreat, could actually impact the game quite a bit. It generally could. Uh, he does find the U-turn board though, as you would expect. He made the right call, discarding the basic energy so that he could get it back with my training court. So my opponent paying very good attention to the small details. And there's the 150, all right. So now, I feel like I boss this turn. I feel like I go boss, knock out the Dene, and then put and then put the damage on this or Vito, which is literally the only threat my opponent has at this point. Because then I set myself up for a game, right? By KOing this guy and this guy with the VMAX. So I'm happy about that. I did see him discard a reset stamp, so I'm gonna go ahead and play this here. And I might as well just power up the Frost Moth just in case he tries to trap me in the active. And then we'll go Max Bullet, take the KO, and then snipe over here. So I'm one attack away, right? This guy goes down, but my opponent, if my opponent isn't attacking with that guy, he's not taking a knockout. And that helps me, right, in <clears throat> in my search for Intellion VMAX. So I think we've set ourselves up pretty well to win this game. Um, if my opponent tries to like delay this, I can just KO the Jirachi and put the damage there once again. Uh, 90 more would be 280, so then it would I could even just snipe shot for the win, right? Which would be fantastic. So it all comes down to that energy return attack. I was debating whether I should do that or not, but I'm glad I did. Okay, so my opponent will get two damage counters here, placed, which is fine. Right, it's generally okay. 
does commit the energy, goes for the Eerie Beam. Like I said, if my opponent attacks with this, I win, because he benched the Jiranji. If he doesn't attack me this turn, then this guy's alive, and then I just snipe again. And that's it. Four prize cards, right? Well, I'm not doing math wrong. I mean, I need the VMAX, right? Without the VMAX, I'm not winning, but with the VMAX, I win. So let's see, we have a Great Ball, we have our top deck and Great Ball, so we need a VMAX to be in the top eight cards, right? And we could also just top deck it, right? Or a Pokecom even would be nice. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna at least thin these cards. We'll go ahead and attach here, and then we'll go ahead and research. A lot depends on if we get it. We do not get it. I do have a Dedene still left, I believe, though. I do have a Dedene still left, I do. So I'll grab the Dedene, right? And then first I will play the Great Ball, and there's the VMAX. Four price turn, four price snipe. Pretty, pretty solid right here. Oh, wait, the telescopic sight, I totally knew this, right? The telescopic sight does not add damage <laughs> to non vs and GXs, so um, it's fine, <laughs> it's all good. Um, because my opponent does 200 damage maximum, with the spread he doesn't have enough, so I think we still win. Right, unless I'm missing something here, we should still win, but that was a very silly mistake on my part. <laughs> something that's easily avoided, right? Um, this shows my unfamiliari unfamiliarity right, with the deck, of course. Um, I find boss of a stamp to one to add salt to the wound, right? Uh, my opponent's best chance here would be to go boss on something and then just start spreading, right? and spread for as many turns as he needs to get three prizes, which would be at least six, maybe less, right? But yeah, if this is his plan, then we're good to go. Yeah, G-Max wave, close, but not quite. And now we just max bullet, target down the Drachi and take our last prize card. That was a big oopsies on my part um, for not remembering right i promise i read the card i know what it does i just forgot <laughs> i simply forgot in that instance i was so confident that i was going to win that one that i completely forgot that you don't get to add damage and now we're up against a lightning deck so you'll see the reason why this deck is not viable at the moment right it could be viable in the certain shield onwards format which, by the way, yeah, I'm holding tournaments for that. Check them out at the Limitless page. They're called the Tailman Challenge, if you've been living under a rock and you don't know about them yet. Um, okay, so not the best hand. Not terrible either. But definitely you don't want to start two bosses immediately. Ah, uh, well, there's a Seal Valley, or a Type Null at least, so... I mean, this... Definitely works. I feel like I'm just gonna... Do I go for a Crobat here? Or do I just establish another Snom? I have absolutely no idea now what I'm up against. So going for this Snom feels like this safe play, right? And then we'll pass. Um, that also allows me to potentially find enough energy to where I can go attach, evolve Frost Moth, power up, and then go boom, right? That might be the plan. Oh, it's Pikachu VMAX. Okay, so Duel of the VMAXs. Duel of the VMAXs. I mean, I'm honestly glad that it's that it's less scary than Pikram. However, now that my opponent will use Charge, that is scary. Okay, so we get more need. The thing is, like, if I'm able to two-hit KO the Pikachu, even if I lose three prize cards, I should be okay. Ish. Okay, so with this hand, what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach active, quick ball the energy for a Crobat, and then Crobat. And then work from there. Okay, so my opponent powers himself up, that's fine. Okay, so we're definitely doing this, we're definitely grabbing Crobats. I have the DNA as well. Then I'm attaching to the active to potentially thin, I mean to potentially retreat, right? 
And that's solid, right? I will take that. I will actually take that. I'm not happy that um, I attached to the active now, but I, there is no way for me to know that I was going to draw those um, cool cards, right? Another thing I could do is simply not evolve and go Aqua Report. Although, no, that's actually not good because Aqua Report plus the 160 is not enough, right? So, okay, we, we have a lot of chances here to, to get what we need. We're actually in a really good spot at this point to have the back-to-back -back attacks because that's what we need to do. Yeah, the back-to-back -back attacks. Okay, so I want... Uh, that doesn't matter. So I want it on the new on the new person, right? I do want an Orientalian. That much I do know. And then I want to spread the energies, but I can do this first. Find Frost Moth, I guess I'll take it. <clears throat> okay, so I really need Intillion VMAX here. I really, really need Intillion VMAX. And then I'll attach this telescopic side over here. I'll go ahead and retreat because worst case scenario, I do need to attack, right? And then sure, I'll evolve. So I have double frost moth and then we have research. We've seen so many cards this turn. It's incredible. And then I do find the VMAX, which is fantastic. I also get to thin the last two energies in my deck. So this has been a crazy, crazy run good turn. This is where, if this was Lapras instead of this, I would have been able to KO the Pikachu and that would have been fantastic. Uh, but I'll, I'll take this, right? Like, I absolutely no complaints here. This was best case scenario, literally best case scenario. Like, I could not have imagined that I would get all of this set up on turn two, right? That's, that's the key. Turn two, look at this, right? So then my opponent will knock me out probably with Thunderbolt, right? Not worth um, evolving, but he immediately evolves once he gets the card. So I'll take that, right? I'm happy about that. Um, definitely disagree, right? Because you're just gifting me the extra price card, but we'll take it, right? We will absolutely take it. So now my play becomes... Oof, that's rough. My play becomes to not die. <laughs> that's step number one, to not die, right? Um, my opponent just needs to find Coco Prism Star. That's all they need in order to win. Uh, but I still have the potential to win, right? So I evolve, I KO, I snipe here. I probably shouldn't play the stadium. Right, because that just gives my opponent an attachment, right? Okay, so I wish I had reset stamp, I wish I had um, tool scrapper, but I don't have either. So if my opponent can power up the Pikachu VMAX next turn, he wins. If not, I win by going boss, 160 here, 90 here, and that's GG. So intense match, right? Super fast pace. This is turn three, right? Games are not lasting more than four turns in this current format, which is crazy to see. Um, but it is what it is, you know? It is what it is. So 32 cards in deck, um, no quick balls played, I don't believe. Yeah, not a single quick ball played, so that's bad news. And Hassel Valley GX established, so that's also really bad. <laughs> that is also really bad. And they just have the quick ball. Um, didn't even bench that, so I'm assuming they already have the energy. Uh, well, that feels like a mistake. There's no way the other three cards are so valuable that you choose not to bench that and draw extra cards. And that's gonna be it, right? That's gonna be it. My opponent just needs to use Thunderbolt. That does 400 damage to my Lightning Wick until in VMAX. And that will be game. So this wasn't Picaron, right? But it's just as bad. Yeah, it's absolutely just as bad. Um, because of lightning weakness, lightning decks are too powerful and too popular right now. Not this one, but Picaron, right? It's winning tournaments left and right. And that is the reason why until in VMAX is actually, even though I literally got the absolute perfect cards every single turn, my opponent did too, right? And in that regard, like you can't compensate for weakness when they easily one-shot you and you can never one-shot them. And the game came down to boss, right? On my side and the Coco on their side. The Marnie um, gave them the Quick Ball. Um, they didn't even bother benching at Bolton to draw extra cards for whatever reason. 
Um, not much you can do about the lightning weakness. So Antillian goes to the, let's hope Sword and Shield onwards can make me viable again, because Pikram, I feel like will continue to dominate for a while. Um, or for the rest of the season, I would say, until we get our next rotation. So that will be all for me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to make sure you are subscribed if you haven't yet. We are now well on our way to 20,000 subscribers, which is amazing to think about. And um, if you leave a like and a comment in the video, you get to be entered into a daily Potown Store code giveaway. And if you need more codes, make sure you use Tailwind code. Thank you so much, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.